Art takes many forms at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston, and sometimes art takes the form of what was once purely functional, like the current exhibit, Texas Clay. Well, this exhibition introduces visitors to the very vibrant and varied traditions of handmade stoneware pottery that flourished in Texas from the mid-19th to the late 19th century. All of these works are drawn from the collection at Bayou Bend, which has quite a, an enormous collection of uh, 19th century uh, Texas stoneware, and we've picked out the most representative and strongest examples by the best known potters and the most important potteries. We have 41 works here and we have about 185 examples now in our collection. Stoneware is pretty sturdy. Um, stoneware uh, is made from clays that vitrify or fuse at, at high temperatures and um, that gives them great strength. Uh, there's a lot, obviously, that didn't survive. Uh, uh, the surviving ones are, are wonderful artifacts. Given that, one might think that tracing the exact age or origin of some objects would be difficult. A large storage jar by the Jefferson Nash Pottery, which was in uh, Marion County, at that time it was Cass County, from probably around 1850 or a little before, a large storage jar with four handles, and it's a form that we can identify as having a, a provenance in South Carolina, whatever potter made it for Jefferson Nash and stamped the pot with the name of his pottery, J.S. Nash, was trained originally in South Carolina. There are a lot of interesting uh, stories that went into the development of the potteries of Texas. The vast majority of these potters were migrant. They weren't native Texans. They came to Texas as a land of opportunity during the Republic and the early Lone Star State. They came from different parts of the South. They came from the Midwest, uh, some from the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic, others came from Germany. And they were attracted by the cheap lands on offer and also by all the new markets created by all of the other migrants coming to Texas. And um, you have a mix of entrepreneurs, landowners, journeyman potters, master potters, and some of the potters were African-American slaves who, after em emancipation, continued to make pottery. And there's a very famous example of a pottery that was founded by a former slave named Hiram Wilson. And H. Wilson and Company was one of the very first African-American owned enterprises in Texas, and we have some of his works on display. One, they tell us uh, about how people's everyday lives were, were lived in 19th century Texas. These were um, agrarian people, people living on farmsteads and plantations for the most part, producing their own food and storing large amounts of food in a warm climate. So you milked your cow, you made cream from the milk, and you churned butter from the cream. Uh, or you uh, salted and stored large amounts of meat, covered them with lard, you know, and put them in safe storage. And it's a, a very different way of life. In addition, these works were made by master artisans who had tremendous uh, skills. And even though they, they were made to be used, they weren't made with beauty in mind. You see tremendous skill in the shapes and in the glazing techniques as well. Texas Clay will be on view through November 1st. For more information, go online to mfah.org. For Artbeat, this is Randall Williams.